Hey, everybody. It seems there's a little confusion about this worksheet, so I want to take a quick second to go through the primary productivity worksheet with you. Uh, I think a lot of you are overthinking this, so please just bear with me, and you're probably going to be upset about how easy this was and that you were overthinking it. So let me kind of navigate my way through here. All right, so let's see. Here we go. I'm going to go to Canvas. I know my Canvas page is going to look a little different than yours. No big deal. Go into AP Environmental Science. I go down to Modules. I'm going to go to yesterday's activity, the Net Primary Productivity and Ecosystems Worksheet. I'm going to open that up really quickly. And again, you're going to get really, really upset at yourselves. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you'll see this. Hopefully you see this. If I have to re-record this, I'll re-record this. Um, but here's all you're going to end up doing. You're going to take, like, just start first. The algal beds and reefs, the area is 6.6 uh, 6 million kilometers squared across the world. The productivity per uh, unit area per square meter is this, you're literally just going to end up multiplying 0. 0.6 times 2,500 to get your global net primary productivity. So you're going to go through, do that for each of those, just a very simple area times the average productivity of that ecosystem to get the global uh, productivity of that ecosystem. And then you're going to then go arrange all those in order. I know it was really, really easy. I think you were all overthinking it, trying to apply photosynthesis and cellular respiration formulas to it. Really, it's just looking at the unit area and then moving on from there. So hopefully that works out for you. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. I'm sorry I didn't uh, make this clear in the directions. Have a great day.